Okay, so we are going to make a cloud with this button here. And I have got my safety goggles here to put on. I must wear my safety goggles because it's a dangerous experiment. We made a cork which has got a... What do you call this? This is for blowing up footballs. Remember when we blew up the footballs? Pumped air? And we've put it through a cork. The key to this, apparently, is you need some rubbing alcohol, which makes this dangerous because it's flammable. Because if you just use water, you only get a little cloud. And we don't want a little cloud, do we? We want a big cloud, right? Which means we've got to keep the top on till we're ready for the experiment. Now, you need to shake the bottle. Shake the bottle. It needs a very good shake. Remember, never go over 20 PSI. Just 20. It to our tire pump. Okay. Make sure. This is the hard bit. We've got. Now, I want you to keep your safety goggles on. Oh, and there's the cloud. Is that a cloud? Can I touch it? Yeah. The camera, right? You got it? Ready? Put some special liquid in it and we gave it a good shake and we put the cork. I put it on here. Show me. And on the foot pump. Yeah. And then we pumped it up and that made a cloud. We took the lid off and we made a cloud. Okay. With so this bottle. Liquid. And what are we going to do tomorrow? We are going to turn it in a rocket to see if it can touch the clouds. Yes, so now we've learned how to make a cloud. So you need a few things for cloud. It's just little what you need actually a little. I've always hoped that cloud is made out of candy floss. And we wear these special safety goggles because it's a dangerous experiment. If it blows up, then it's not really good. No. And you shouldn't sniff it either. So you've got these special uh, safety goggles because you don't want it to go in your eyes. No, well done. Right, what's the next part of the experiment? Because we're proving that clouds can help spiders lift off, aren't we? Yeah. So we did one where we made a cloud, right? And we show that you can make a cloud from what's called condensing vapor, okay? So it's when tiny bits of something that's evaporated then condense right and that means it comes out, it comes little droplets of water so we just made we made millions of tiny drops of liquid right that's what makes a cloud and is that millions yes inside is millions millions no. of drops in here yes because they're tiny they're invisible well, i don't have a microscope that you can see water drops they're so tiny, but all together... Are they kind of that tiny? Yeah, all together. Oh, they're tinier than that. All together... Tinier than that little yeah, hole! They stop light going through. So those clouds in the sky. See those clouds? Sorry. Like right. Ready? Caitlin, do you see those clouds in the sky there? Yeah. Yeah? Those clouds are made up of tiny little droplets of water that's n that comes out and the light can't go through it. Yeah. Now those tiny little droplets of water can all hold a charge, an electromagnetic charge. We'll just call it a mag like a magnet, okay? Now we're going to see if water's magnet. Do you think water is magnetic? 
How could we test if water is magnetic? Let's do it. Let's see us. Let's do it for ourselves. Yeah, that's right. We're going to go and do an experiment. <laughs> okay. Can you rub it on your hair like you did? You've got to do it with a big like that. Yeah. Like that. Let's just take on the then, dangerous. And then you've got to take it. It's just as dangerous. Okay. And you have to see. I want you to peer around here and see if the water moves towards the balloon. Scruffy and fluffy, could tell me. Ready? Yeah. Do you see the water coming out there? If I take it away, see? And it, it moves! See? Ready? It's probably because it's got more electricity. There you go! Look wow, at it! Wow, it's going on here! You see, Scratch, can you, make, can you let Fluff see it? Come on! Can, can you see, see it moving? Yeah! Good boy! Look how much it can move you, put it here. Oh! That will lose charge. There we go, on your head. Ready? Come on, Dad. See how much it's moving? Okay. What, what is the magnetic? We've just found out that. So, we know that if water's magnetic, when you've got water drops in clouds, they can be magnetic. Can't they? So they can pull, because so they can push together. That's right. So we've got magnetic clouds and magnetic clouds. And f and scruffs here and fluffs here helped me. Yeah. Fluffy and scruffy. So clouds, when they're magnetic, can cause thunder and lightning. Oh. And, Boom. Yeah. Bam. And they can help spiderlings bloom.